Hi, my name is Jordan Young, and I'm excited to help you get started with our business plan, Code Academy Teams. A bit about the purpose of this video, I'll give you a pretty high level overview of what Code Academy is and what makes us us. We'll dive into the platform, give an idea of the user experience for both team members and admin, run through our interactive hands-on approach to learning, then we'll wrap up with features specific to our team's plan, like activity reports, learning groups, content assignment, and more. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Now let's dive in. You might already know a bit about Codecademy. We've been around since 2011. We've taught over 50 million people the coding and tech skills needed to improve their careers, businesses, and lives. And we're proud to have many of our users be able to leverage Codecademy to grow within their companies like yours and reach their dream jobs. Now let's start with the dashboard. The learner dashboard is the main screen your team member sees when they're logged in. It keeps everything you need in one easy place. Team members can see how they're progressing through curriculum, see what skills they're building with their skill XP feature, set their own weekly learning targets and bigger picture goals, and see their achievements, badges, and certificates from completed content. This is the main page, and on the left side, we have the navigation panel. With the learning tab, team members can see what they've already worked on. They can see what courses, skill paths, or career paths are coming next. With the events tab, they can easily see the different events we have coming up. We have a tremendous community feel where learners, your team members, can ask and answer questions in our forums or Discord. They can also register for free learning events, live stream, tutorials, and more. Projects tab. This is where users can practice and perfect their skills by building real tangible projects. Team members can take what they're currently learning, say Python or SQL, and apply it in a workspace environment. This allows users to be able to share what they build with you to ultimately show their growth. They can use it for their overall professional development and truly gain that confidence to apply those skills in their daily work at your company. Lastly, we have the Workspaces tab, which is similar to projects. This is our sandbox environment that allows users to start coding instantly in browser. And they're also able to tinker with code, practice developing a little more independently and easily share their work. Now let's switch gears so I can give you an idea of the breadth and depth of the curriculum we offer today. Currently, we have 15 programming languages. For the user experience, the left side of the catalog shows all the subject areas we support. These areas and courses are always getting updates because technology is ever changing. We're always adding more curriculum and technology advancements, so there's always something new in our catalog. You'll often see labels that highlight things we've added or updated. For example, right now, we've recently introduced industry certification prep with about 10 skill paths. We also offer a vast amount of content, including data analytics, developer tools, DevOps, HTML and CSS, almost everything under the sun you'd want from an upskilling, reskilling and onboarding perspective. You'll also be able to filter curriculum down to see what you're looking for. Users can choose from beginner, intermediate, or advanced content, or filter by type of curriculum, career path, skill path, or course. So we do have three different types of curriculum. We have our career paths. This is our most robust all-encompassing offering. Career paths take a user that knows nothing or very little about a certain role and gives them all of the steps, guidance, languages, assessments, and projects they need to step into that job immediately. 
So in your company, this helps with building and reskilling your own talent to fill gaps or open positions you may have. Our skill paths help with upskilling your workforce. These paths give team members steps and guidance to learn specific skills that will help them in their roles and help your company reach business objectives. And lastly, our courses. These are quick, concise, and a targeted option to learn one prog programming language at a time. An example of this is a team member that may need to really focus on something like Python or Java and so on. So to sum it up, a Code Academy Teams plan gives you everything under the sun, all curriculum, all contact, all learning tools and features. But let's dig into what this looks like live and in action. Jumping into an actual syllabus of a course, all of the content is broken down into modules. Within a module, you'll have an interactive lesson, sometimes helpful articles or references, followed by a quiz. After the quiz, there is an interactive project. The user not only learns a new skill, but also applies and cements that new skill through real-world application. What this does is prepare a team member for what they'll face in daily work. So when they encounter a client project, they feel empowered and confident to tackle that project head on. Certifications of completion for each course, skill path and career path finish, users earn a certification of completion. Team members can share them with managers or team leads. A lot of our users on the consumer side post them on those social networks like LinkedIn. This lets their networking community know they put in the work and now have a proficiency and are well versed in specific areas or skills. Now, jumping into what I think makes us who we are as a company, our interactive learning environment. This is how the user actually learns the skills and the courses they are taking. Essentially, it's a three paneled screen. On the left panel, this is where users can read lesson instructions and see info on quizzes, projects, or next steps. Basically the user's information panel. The middle panel, this is where the user gets to interact with the platform. Here's where they write their own code or execute on those instructions. And the right panel is where users sees code output, and all of this is done right in their web browser. As an example, in our Learn Python course, the learning experience is self-paced and hands-on. So in this case, the lesson asks the user to change Codecademy to their name in the middle panel script, then run the code to see what it does. To do that, the user would go to the code editor in the middle, find and change the word code academy, change it to their name, click run to see what it does. If they run the code correctly, they will receive a blue check mark. That means it's correct and the user can move forward in the lesson plan. If the code is incorrect, they would receive immediate syntax error. There are two main error feedback loops. There are conceptual errors and syntax errors. Conceptual errors, if the user makes an error like a misspelling or something small, they encounter an immediate feedback loop. This case is more of a conceptual error the system will ask the user to check that code is written correctly. If the user adjusts and corrects it, they'll get that blue check mark and they'll be able to move forward in the lesson. With the syntax error, this is when the actual code is written incorrectly. There are a couple of different ways to leverage Codecademy tools and platform to fix these and move forward in the lesson plan. There is this get unstuck button in the top right corner here. By clicking it, the learner can use different 
documentation we offer. They can jump into one of our community forums. Like I mentioned earlier, we have a vast community for users to leverage. They can see what questions and answers from other users that have gone through this lesson or course have mentioned prior. If they can't find their answer, they can post their own questions for others to answer. And these community forums date back to 2018 and have an incredible wealth of information to help a user when they are stuck. There's also downloadable cheat sheets with a helpful synopsis uh, of every single module. As you can see here, it gives a good idea of what's to come in the lesson plan or what the highlighted areas should be. And then lastly, we have the get the code solution. With the get the code solution, the user can see where they've made their error with their current code. They can see what the correct solution or output would be. They can keep their code, make the adjustments to move forward. Or let's say they've only allocated an hour of learning today, so they can replace it with the right solution. The program will adjust it. I can run the code. And now I can move forward in the lesson plan. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of the interactive hands-on learning that really differs Codecademy from others in the market. Now, I also wanna run through the reporting and analytics features you can use with your Codecademy Teams plan. This is our business account management tool, and this is your first Codecademy Teams admin dashboard where you can manage your account, curriculum assignments, user access, and more. What's really helpful in your team's plan is our seat assignment feature. Each seat is fully transferable, so you have the ability to rotate access over the duration of the subscription. Within this members tab, this will show you who has joined the plan, if someone is still pending or hasn't quite accessed their account and still needs to verify accordingly. To invite a team member, add the user's first name or last name and provide their email address accordingly. You can also assign them a role. We provide our business clients with three different levels of access. There is the learner role. The user will have access to just the platform curriculum and content. There's the admin role. With your plan, we provide one free admin seat. So if you purchase five licenses, you would technically get six, five for learners and one that is universal admin to manage the account and rotate the access. Then there's an admin dashboard only role, which gives a team lead or manager that doesn't need to manage the account access to view team progress reports and analytics. Additionally, if you want to manually upload team members individually, you can do that, or you can also bulk upload users via a CSV file. Now, with regards to rotating and transferring seats, to transfer or rotate a license, start from the member tab you see here in front of you, find a team member, click the three dots to the right of their name, simply click remove member. That seat will open up immediately and, you, and then you can add a new team member to use to open the seat. learning groups. From the groups tab, you have the ability to group learners in different cohorts. This is helpful if you want to check uh, track learning by different roles or teams. You can also create multiple training programs that run at once. An example would be having training focused on data analytics and training focused on machine learning running at the same time. Simply name your group up at the top, click create group, then start adding users. And you can assign specific content to users within that group. Within the content assignment tab, 
you can assign curriculum to all team members, those specific groups you've previously created, as well as individual users. Sometimes organizations want to give Codecademy to team members as a resource for them to lean into professional development and offer a way to continuously sharpen skills, upskill, or reskill. Other teams' clients use it for more specific reason. Example, we have a training coming up to help front-end engineers learn more back-end skills to make them more well-rounded. With the content assignment feature, the admin can assign content that aligns with business initiatives, KPIs, and so on. How it works is you would find a specific team member or group and start building out a learning journey for them. So you'll identify which user or group or users you want to assign the content, Search the bar to start looking up the programming languages. I'm going to assign this curriculum to me. I'm going to use a search bar at the top to find programming languages, topics, or specific courses slash paths, then add those to the individual or group. So for instance, if I had a data analysis initiative, let's say I wanted to do a analyze data with Python course, as well as uh, analyze data with R course. And lastly, let's throw in a principles of data literacy. I would hit this continue button. And once you've added all of the curriculum and content you'd like for the user, simply click the assign content in the top right corner. And then that will live on the user's dashboard like we went through earlier. Lastly, we have our reporting feature. These are designed to give you tangible data and help you visualize how your teams are growing while using Teams training. We have five analytic reports that we offer within the Teams plan. We have a member's report, which shows engagement at a high level, including the last time a user logged into Codecademy, how many days are they active, what courses they passed or completed, what modules they completed, average quiz scores, and most recent content item they're currently working on. With our progress report, this shows how far users have progressed on curriculum or content items that may be assigned to them or that they've self-enrolled in. Within our completions report, this tells you how long it took a team member to complete specific curriculum or content. As mentioned in our progress report, you can also see if they were self-enrolled or if they live within a certain cohort or group. Within our content report, this acts like a trends report per se. An example would be maybe you've been assigning SQL courses, but your usage report shows a team member or group is gravitating towards computer science or a different area within the catalog. This helps you identify potential growth areas or strengths within your team. Lastly, we have our usage report. This shows engagement and allows you as an admin to see how engaged a user is over a certain period of time. You could filter down by week, by month, or quarter. Ultimately, all reports are downloadable for you to use however you'd like internally. So that's a 30,000 foot view of Codecademy Teams. Again, I'm Jordan Young. I'm excited to be able to present to you our Codecademy Teams business plan. Always available and happy to answer any questions you might have. So please feel free to reach out to me directly if anything comes to mind. I truly appreciate the opportunity and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care.